Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is State Senator Holly Mitchell, uh, proudly representing the 30th Senate District, which encompasses a major portion of downtown. So we'd like to welcome you all today. I've been joined here, and you'll uh, be officially introduced to all of my colleagues, but of course, the governor, my leader, Madam uh, Pro Tem Tony Atkins, my colleague in the Assembly, Assembly Member Phil Ting, Chair of the Assembly Budget Committee, and of course, Speaker of the House, Speaker Anthony Rendon. We believe, I believe, as Chair of the Senate Budget Committee, that this budget is responsible, honest, and is a vessel for making the progress that the people of California deserve and need. In total funds, the budget is nearly $200 billion, the largest budget in California's history. We believe it's a responsible budget. Under this balanced budget, the reserve will now grow to a com combined dollar amount of $15.9 billion. This unprecedented level of reserve gives us leeway to deal with unanticipated federal actions or a mild recession without making cuts. And if the LAO is correct in their forecast, our reserve may grow even larger. The budget continues to pay down debts and liabilities like pensions, including $1.7 billion from Prop 2. We believe this is an honest budget. The budget deals in, in in recognizing the deficit that programs um, experience when the cost of living and deferred maintenance is not allotted for. As a result, we've agreed to restore COLAs to the SSI, SSP, and CalWORKs programs beginning in fiscal year 22-23. It's also an honest budget because we recognize that in tough times, you, we ignore deferred maintenance. When our budgets at home are tough, we don't repair the roof. So this year, we've allocated resources to the courts, levy, CSU, and UC for that long deferred maintenance. We're making progress in this budget. Uh, we're making investments in much needed programs that really help support Californians from all walk of life. We made crucial progress with respect to poverty alleviation, homelessness, child care, K through 12 and higher education, disaster relief, the courts, and infrastructure. The budget deal is the culmination of many, many months and hours of consideration, deliberation, and negotiation with the legislature and the administration. In the Senate alone, we convened more than 75 public hearings, and I want to take a moment to thank all of those that are involved in that process. You see here the elected leaders, but behind the scenes is the Department of Finance, the Ledger Analyst Office, and the budget staff who work tireless hours in both houses. So we really want to acknowledge their hard work in bringing forth a historic budget that will benefit all California residents. Pleasure to be here. When I took office uh, way back in 2011, uh, California was facing a real financial mess, a deficit of $27 billion, and I pledged to work with the legislature and get it solved. Well, this budget that I signed today uh, fulfills that pledge and prepares us for the future. And I want to say something else. In our country today, with very bitter divisions, we see that uh, among uh, different regions, different ethnic groups, uh, different political parties. Uh, this is a budget that represents the collective effort of the people of California. This is the way we together, the 40 million people, invest in our collective future, for roads, for childcare, for higher education, for our schools, uh, for health care, all sorts of things. And I think people ought to be proud of that, that in California, uh, this state, uh, bigger than, uh, more wealth than uh, Great Britain, more wealth than India, than Russia, uh, than all the countries of the world uh, except four. So we are a, a very large and uh, wealthy state, and we need to do things, and we can do things. And that's what this budget does. It invests in those needs that makes our state a better place. Does it solve all the problems? No. Are there people suffering? Yes, there are people suffering. But there is no place that has a more progressive, thoughtful, uh, sensitive understanding of how to cope with modern problems. And yes, we have uh, turmoil, and yes, there's a lot of stress, even among our two parties. But this budget is a milestone. I think people in California can be proud that we're making progress, we're working together, and it's in a positive environment. We're not trying to tear down, we're not trying to blame, we're trying to do something. And as uh, a woman said uh, a long time ago, it's better to light a candle than curse the darkness. Well, this is a far more than a candle. 
uh, but it's certainly going to illuminate uh, the years to come for all Californians. Thank you.